Hey everybody, so we're gonna be at a different angle today because we're gonna be doing a detailed comparison between this Dress Up Your Purse key pouch as well as this Dooney and Burke card. No, it's called a coin case. I don't know why they call it a coin case, but that's what Dooney and Burke identifies it as. So if you're interested, that's what you'll wanna look under, but I will leave links to similar products of this. They don't have this exact one anymore down below as well as the link to this one if you're interested in purchasing. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to record this video, first off, if you are not new to my channel and you happen to see my SLG video where I talked about how I don't need anymore, and then you're probably wondering, well, if this one, first off, thank you for watching that video. This one was not in the collection. Uh, however, hear me out. <laughs> the reason I purchased this one was to replace this one here. So that is the reason why I purchased another one, to replace, not add to the number okay so now that we got that out the way let's go ahead and talk about it basically they modeled their the sizing of this key pouch after the louis vuitton key clay and so it's similar sizing so i got this one because obviously the dress up your purse version was a lot less expensive if you don't know and you're new here i am not a big fan of canvas so i really prefer leather pieces also i didn't want to spend that amount of money on a pouch to carry my cards in so went with this option because they had this beautiful I want to say it was the dream collection or something like that where you see this like metallic ombre finish on here so this one is made out of lamb skin it's laminated it is gorgeous I love the way that it feels and they're around about 40 something dollars so the reason I got this one is because I really like the color also I really liked the price point and so I've been using it for about a year now and it's very convenient and nice similar to how that key clay works with LV also Gucci has their versions. There's several brands that have their versions of this. And so let me just open up the inside for you. So we'll go over a few things and the reason why I'm going to replace this one or have replaced it with this one. So it does have the key clasp here, which is nice. And then the interior is just like a fabric kind of lining to it and then it has this zipper here so the nice thing is that it has a slim profile which is really great you can stack a lot of cards in here you can mix, mix cards cash receipts things like that now where I had the challenges as I started to add more cards in here as you can see it has a generous opening but the issue with this was the measurements it's not tall enough so when I added cash to this along with a heavy stack of cards I was finding that my cash was getting caught in the zipper nobody likes torn cash <laughs> that doesn't work out too well so I started to look for another one also the other reason why I wanted to go for another one is because although I really like this one I am not happy with the way that the coloring or the dye on the leather has been wearing. It, hopefully you can see it on this side. So you didn't see the original one and I don't think they have this collection anymore. If I can find a photo, I will throw it up here. But this had a very deep, a deeper pink color to it and more of an ombre effect it is starting to wear off and it has this silver undertone under it I got the lights on so I don't know if you all can see it that well but let me see if this, this helps yeah, I think that helps a little bit. So you can see here kind of how it more, is more silver. So most of the pink is worn away with wear. Also on the back, this was completely one color, which was gold, and the gold is wearing away. In addition to that, I have dropped it a couple of times. And so you can tell that it seems like the leather was painted versus being fully dyed through and through because there are black marks. Hopefully you can see that see those black marks there so there are black marks along that side as well as along this little ridge right here let me angle it that way see those black marks there in the corner area so there are black marks that are coming off from it being scratched so I'm not too happy with the way that the leather has been wearing those two items that I just talked about or those two reasons are the reasons why I wanted to go with something else you because the LV key clay is very popular. 
Gucci has one, like I mentioned. Prada, just other brands have these similar ones. They are, dress up your purse, I'm pretty sure, just came up with the standard sizing that is similar to what the fashion houses, the larger fashion houses have come up with. And it works, but for that reason, I needed something taller and a little bit longer so I could fit my items in here. So when I show you this one here, I'll quickly give you a roundabout about <laughs> what it looks like and then I'll go into sizing measurements. So it was, like I said, there are several brands that have something similar to this. So actually it was harder to find this version that was bigger that fit the needs that I wanted it for. So you have a zippered pocket along the front here. You have a zippered area along the top. And then you also have a slip pocket at the back portion too, which makes it great for storage. You'll notice that the profile is uh, pretty much the same. So the measurements of the dress up your purse are, this is 2.75 inches in height and 4.5 inches in length. Sorry about that. Okay, so for the Dooney and Burke one, it is 3.25 inches in height. It is 0.5 inches in width and then 4.75 inches along the bottom in length. So that is where it's a, just a tidge page a little bit larger. So when I show you side by side here, the measured, you see how the Dooney and Burke one is just a smidge taller. Also, it is just a smidge longer, which makes a great difference when I'm wanting to do the things that I wanted to do. So let me just talk about this one for a second here. So that is the main reasons why I like this one. And I think this one will work out well for me. So there are a couple of cons with this one, but I'm very much happy with it at this point in time. I've used it for two days now, <laughs> but I really like that they have the thick, leather look how thick that leather is look at that so they have these thick leather pulls which are very nice i can fit the same amount of cars in here that i can fit in here this one also has a key ring but notice this key ring is just kind of like a traditional key ring which is not the best i would prefer it to be a class but i don't plan also on hooking my keys on here so it doesn't really matter but if you're wondering about that and that's going to be a deal breaker just know that that's the case also there is a red lining. Let me pull my cards out so you can see this and then I can explain something else that is something that is very notable to know as well. So there is a red lining. So you know the traditional Duty and Burke lining that they're well known for is on the inside. And so that is also something to know the difference between, which actually this takes up a, because of this lining in here, it does take up a little bit more room than it does with it out being. Editing me pointing out how the dress up your purse chain attaches on the outside where Dunia Burke attaches towards the inside. A lining similar to that with this fabric. So just know that also. So here are the cons. Cons one I would say is this, but this doesn't matter to me too much, which would be the key ring. Another con with this one is this fabric interior. And the reason I'm saying that fabric interior is a con is because, let me just show you here. So, gonna show you with this little gift card here. So first, let me show you what dress up your purse. Now, with dress up your purse, I can take this card and I can slide it in just like that. Pull it straight in, straight out. Great, right? With Dooney and Burke, because of where the zipper pull ends, this card can't go in. See that is getting hooked just a little bit and it won't work. So you have to orient it vertically or at an angle basically and then slide it in. I'm willing to live with that because I get so much more with this one and I feel like the leather is going to be a lot <laughs> a lot more hard wearing and not look scruffy and duffy now that it has had a whole bunch of use. So just know that if that's a deal breaker for you, just know that that is the case. I also, like I said, like that there's extra storage with this one. So that is great. So that is something to note. Also note that if you are using smaller handbags, this piece here, which is this metal placket, see that? 
it does stick out a little bit. So that could make a difference if you are putting it in a bag that is lined with a softer leather, like a lambskin or something like that. Or if you have to maximize the real estate in your bag. This little plate could make all the difference with fitting it in with something else. So just know that as well. So those are the cons about this Dooney and Burke little coin case is what they call it <laughs> instead of a key holder. I got this on sale. So I paid, I believe 40 something dollars for it, but with tax and shipping it came up to about $54 so just know that um, I wasn't quite happy with the $15 shipping but at the same time you know I'm getting something I really wanted um, oh let me just show you a top profile here so you can just see and it doesn't make that big of a difference but just know like you can see where this zipper ends and this one begins let me just line them up at the same angle here and you see how the dress up your purse one goes back just a little bit further. See that? It goes back just a little bit further than the Dooney and Burke one. So just that little, I don't even know if it's that much. Maybe like a half a centimeter, maybe a centimeter. I don't know. It's really not that much of a difference, but... It does make a difference up at the top. That's something that I didn't notice. So just know that as well as because and that's the reason why I cannot fit my cards in horizontally. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that helps you make a decision if you're looking for a card case and I will talk to you again soon. Leave your comments down below.